It's time for another Dirt Daily, and today I am still working on this bumper on the old Land Rover, and today I'm gonna to talk about tow hooks. Uh, tow hooks are an important part of any off-road vehicle, how you recover the vehicle uh, when off-road, when stuck in the mud, when bound up on a rock, when you need to pull or drag something off of the trail, and I have a certain type of tow hook that I've been using for years, it's kind of something that I came up with years ago after going on Ultimate Adventure. And I've been putting these on a bunch of different Jeeps. I'm gonna show you how I install them on a different Jeep and why I like this type of tow hook. Not that this is the best type, this is just what I have come to use a bunch. And I'll show you why I like this design. This is the tow hook on the front of my Jeep, the Ultimate Summer Camp Jeep. You notice how it can have a shackle hanging on the front, but it also has a piece that comes up here, and that is designed for a recovery rope that you could just throw over top and hook on there. Now, the reason that I kind of came up with this idea was uh, in years past, we would go on the Ultimate Adventure trip. Ultimate Adventure is this week-long off-road trip put on, well, priorly put on, previously, priorly? previously put on by Peterson's Four Wheel and Off-Road Magazine, now put on by the Four Wheeler Network. And back in the day, uh, every vehicle had to be inspected and pass a tech inspection. And the guy that was in charge of it all, Rick Payway, had this theory that you should have tow hooks on the front of your vehicle and not <clears throat> a shackle hanging recovery point. Now, his reasoning, which is not a, is not a bad idea, was that if you are in your Jeep and you're about to fall off a cliff and his Jeep is parked in front and he has a tow hook hooked to the back of his Jeep, he could easily throw this loop over that hook and save you from falling off a cliff. So it was a quick way to hook up the vehicle in case of a recovery. Now other people would argue that they want this style, this closed uh, system tow hook point and <clears throat> I think that's a good idea as well but over the years I've also come along and found that like whenever you need a shackle that's when you don't have a shackle so your shackle maybe it maybe you bolted it onto the front of your bumper and you were driving down the trail bouncing along and then all of a sudden you go out there to hook up a tow strap your shackles missing that's because the shackles will work loose and fall off. So if you are dependent on a shackle style recovery point, don't put your shackle here. Put it inside in the toolbox, put it in the center console, put it somewhere safe that it won't bounce around and bonk you in the head if you roll over. But don't put it on the front of your bumper because as you're four wheeling, that'll vibrate loose and fall off and then you will have nothing. That's kind of why I'm not a big fan of these thimble things that everybody puts on their winches because to me, in a worst case scenario, having a hook is always better than requiring a shackle that you can lose. But that's me, other people have their own opinions. Um, however, over the years, I came up with this idea and we put it on a bunch of different project vehicles and I really dig it because it is both a hook and a shackle recovery point. And you basically attach it to your bumper um, but that brings up a whole nother category of discussion. Should your tow hooks be welded to your bumper or should they use a style that is bolted on? For example, here's a bolt on recovery hook. Um, it's not, I mean, you could use it with a shackle, but it's not a closed system. This is what's found on like a three quarter ton, 2000 era Chevy Suburban. I know that because I literally took it off the frame of one and I was like, that's kind of a cool tow hook. Um, however, it's only held on with one, two, three bolts. So three bolts to hold this thing on and recover all of the weight of a three quarter ton Suburban. Now I'm pretty sure that General Motors engineers didn't underbuild this hook. To me, like there's definitely some security built into this and it's probably plenty strong for that design. Um, even if it's a Suburban that's filled to capacity with whatever gross vehicle weight rating it's qualified at, 
all of your camping gear, all of your kids toys, whatever you take out there in the woods, you get the thing stuck in the mud. This thing's probably designed to be able to hold up to the abuse of yanking that thing out of the mud. So my point being, lots of tow hooks are only held on with one or two bolts. This one, three, but you get those little, the basic tow hook you've seen at every off-road shop for a thousand years, and it's really just two bolts holding the thing on. So are you confident enough to have a tow hook that's welded on. I am. I think there's a lot of weld that's gonna go into this tow hook. Let me grab a tape measure. Four inches of weld on this side, five inches of weld on that side, nine inches, double that for both sides of the hook, uh, 18 inches plus a half an inch at both ends, 20, no, 19, 19 inches of weld holding that thing to your bumper but it's got to be a good weld um, which brings up a whole nother situation this bumper made out of 3 16 this 5 8 so thicker material welding to thinner material how do you do that again I'm not a welding instructor so take this with a grain of salt but I'm gonna tell you how I do it and also ways that I have researched doing it um, this, the issue is, is you're trying to get enough heat and amperage into this piece of metal that you get a good bond, but also into the base material that it has a good bond. And then remember you're hooking a toe strap onto this thing and your buddy is peeling out to pull you out of the mud pit. If you are not confident in your welds that you would this thing could come off, become a projectile, and kill your buddy. It could happen. If you are not confident in your welds enough to accept that on you, don't weld it on. Get somebody else to weld it on that is confident, or get some bolt on tow hooks like this and come up with a system to bolt them on. But if you're going to weld this thing on, Here's what you should do. And I remember I've talked in the past about how bumpers are a great starting project. Um, recovery points are kind of moving away from that starting project and moving up into that uh, more skilled welder project. Um, and some people will say you set the welder for the thick material. The problem is there you can burn into your base material, uh, your thinner material, and then you have a problem where it could rip off. Um, another system that I think is pretty neat is to preheat this thing. Uh, throw it on the welding bench on an anvil, heat it up with a rosebud torch, put it on there, and then weld it in. Um, the problem being that now this thing is probably pretty hot, so you're going to need gloves or pliers. Here's a really handy tool, a magnetic, uh, like a, a magnet basically, to hold that piece in place so that when you weld it, um, you, can line, you can set it on there, line it up with the magnet, um, put a clamp on it if you can, and then burn it in. When I weld these things, I like to tack the top and bottom so that it's kind of held in place, and then pretty quickly weld both sides of it so that it's not pulling to one side or the other. Um, even if you tack both ends and both sides in the corner here, then it's locked in place pretty well, and then you come through and burn it in. When I am welding, I am concentrating the majority of the heat up onto the thicker material, but also dipping into the thinner material so that you get a good penetration, but not so much that you are burning into the base material and not getting a good weld on the thick material. That's kind of a lot, um, but in the end, I think this is kind of a cool design. Uh, I've only made a few of these over the years and I've used them on a bunch of different Jeeps. In fact, my summer camp Jeep, my old Jeep called Grampy. Uh, I have another Jeep that's the garden Jeep. I've built a bumper for that with this and I think they look perfect on the Land Rover. So I think I'm gonna put them on here. Plus it'll give me good recovery points and a good point to put like a tow bar when I wanna get this thing out of the shop, which I have to do pretty soon because I have other projects coming in here. So there's been a quick little lesson on tow hooks. If you don't feel confident in your welds, don't weld them onto your bumper. Um, find some that bolt on, use heavy material, heavy uh, hardware to bolt it on, like grade eight stuff, I think is better than the grade five stuff. 
Everybody has their own opinions on that as well. Um, but you're going to want recovery points if you're going off-road because either A, you'll be pulling your buddy out, or B, your buddy will be pulling you out. That's it for this Dirt Daily. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.